All they want you to be is dumb. That, they're, remember, they're Mitch McConnell's biggest backers. They're Paul, Paul Ryan's on the board. Does that tell you enough? Right here, you see the architect of the MAGA movement destroying Fox News. It's TV for stupid people. The, the, their entire thing is to drill you with Republican talking points to dumb you down and follow Mitch, McCar- uh, Mitch McConnell, Paul Ryan, McCarthy, Everything. A.K.A. one-time Trump kingmaker, A.K.A. the toilet a day after you forgot to flush it, just decoded decades and decades of Fox News as, what did he call it again? It's TV for stupid people. Which explains moments like this. I want to bring in our panel, Fox News Sunday anchor Chris Wallace, along with Carl Rove and Joe Trippy. I'm afraid to look. I am too. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's just a... Howdy, partners. Let me explain this to you. Using this boiling water here and, and these little frogs... What happens when you throw them in? When you throw them in, frogs into boiling water? Okay, forget the frog. Cool. You would let everybody get married who want to get married. You want to marry a turtle, you can. So if it's a lot like I can marry a turtle, would... I'll marry a turtle. So you... A fist bump, a pound, a terrorist fist jab, the gesture everyone seems to interpret differently. What happened to the old pat on the back? What, you mean a murderer palm punch? So in that clip I played earlier, Steve Bannon's doing a lot. He's attacking a huge Trump ally. He's saying that most of what Republicans say makes you stupid. And if you like any Republican talking points, you are stupid. Steve Bannon's not wrong. Well, actually he is wrong about it just being the brainchild of Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell. In fact, at the beginning it was the Murdochs and a guy named Roger Ailes, who was essentially Richard Nixon's and Ronald Reagan's and and George H.W. Bush's Steve Bannon. And since way back then, all they've done is taken political messaging, pretended it's the news, and deliver it to you so that you'll parrot it because they think you're stupid. Here's an old clip where they try to tell you that people aren't really poor if they have a refrigerator. I'm just gonna give our viewers a quick run through of what items <laughs> poor families in America have. 99% of them have a refrigerator. 25% have a dishwasher. This, sir, Mr. Rector, is very different from what it was uh, just a few years ago, isn't it? No, actually what you see is that the living standards of the poor have increased rather steadily for the last 30 years. And in fact, the, the poverty report has not accurately reflected their living conditions really for several decades. See what they did there? They just had a guy with a suit tell you that the poverty level doesn't mean that people are poor because they have refrigerators, even if they don't have any food to go in them. They don't really even seem to bother checking the facts. Here's a totally made up news story. Obama tweeted a funny photo for the White House Correspondents' Dinner and Fox just kind of ran with it. All right, it looks like Middle East peace will have to wait. The president says he's got no time to meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, but meeting with a pirate, no problem. <laughs> and I'm not talking a Pittsburgh pirate, which yeah. makes a lot more sense. He could be from Pittsburgh. That's true. No, it's not. None of this is true. But that didn't stop them from repeating that same story this many times over many hours. The president says he's got no time to meet with uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, but the pirate got in. So much for the Middle East peace. The White House doesn't even have time to meet with Israel, but the president got a private sit down with a pirate yesterday in the Oval Office. Sorry, BB. All right, so much for peace in the Middle East. The White House doesn't have the time to meet with the Israeli prime minister right now, but this pirate <laughs> got a sit down in the Oval Office yesterday. Now you might be thinking, Brett, why are you showing me these super old videos? Well, it's to prove a point. Fox has treated its viewers like such morons for so long that they've just gone overboard. Fox News is dumber than it has ever been. And that's why they have a primetime lineup with people like Jesse Waters in it. Here to weigh in, DJ Pauly D. DJ and star of MTV's Jersey Shore Family Vacation, which has a new season coming out soon. I mean, they no longer have the guy in the suit to seem like a newsman. Now they're just going out to DJ Pauly D. Who's next? The situation? Oh, I read that wrong. Up next, the situation. I don't think Hunter's probably going to go to prison. He'll probably get pardoned or get a sweetheart deal. Do you feel any sort of animosity there about the double standard? Uh, uh, why am I on here? And they're not just having these guys on to like talk about their book. He's literally asking them for advice on inflation. It's not just dudes from the Jersey Shore. It's also Fabio. You said of the, the modern romance books that the male characters are too soft. What did you mean by too soft? 
I mean soft like this softcore news pornography. Honestly, though, the most ridiculous person I've seen on Fox, though, is this guy. Joining me now is Joe Germanata. He's a restaurant owner and known as father to Lady Gaga. No, I'm not calling you Daddy Gaga. I promise you, you, Joe. Uh yes, thank you, because it's uh, Lord Gaga. But at the end of the day, it seems to be working because it's been almost three decades of Fox News and their supporters are kind of right where they want them in terms of talking point regurgitation. These Democrats are ruining our country. They're just gonna, they're just hell bent on turning this country into a you know, a communist country. And that's, I mean, they're going to try socialism first, then it'll go to communism, and we, we can't have that. Where, and where do you see that that you're talking about evidenced in the last few years? Uh, trying to go to socialism? Um, well, let me think about that, because there's, well, there's lots of things, but... But I, I only remember them when Fabio tells me. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.